So I'm sorry again for this for this video to come very very late. I'm sorry for that. So I'm I'm just going to talk about the game here. Going to be a very short video. Not going to spend too much time on it. So Ravens lose 24 to 22 to the Browns. Uh, a hard fought game. Very astonishing that this game was even close. Uh, but you know it it's it's a big hit. Big hit. With the Bengals losing to the 49ers, the Baltimore Ravens are still first in the AFC North, waiting with an eight and five record now. Uh, and yeah, man, things are getting very, very bleak for the Ravens moving forward. So Lamar got injured in the second quarter after throwing his fourth pass. Uh, he went four out of four. He went four out of four. It was pretty fine. Uh, he only got to throw four passes, but so far, you know, we had like two offensive drives and went nowhere. Uh, but we always start off slow, so I, I I don't understand the oh the Browns were already blowing you out. No, I don't get it. I I really do not. It's not true. Like we always start off slow. I think with Lamar we would have won this game. 100% we would have won this game but yeah man uh, let's start off with offense what I think about this game uh, you know I think we fell off short I think we fell off short really really short with the comeback started off slow again uh, again like Greg Roman I'm gonna rant about him later Onto the video later on while talking about offense, because he is again he is the one again who cost us a game. Because we got the onside kick, we were down by two. We had, we needed like 20, 30 yards to get into Tucker range. Well, field goal range I'm saying normal field goal range, but Tucker range is pretty much anywhere. It's it's unlimited at this point. But then a horrible fourth down call. Really didn't it really didn't help at all. But yeah, man, Tyler Huntley. He had an excellent game despite some poor pocket awareness at times. Uh, play with poison confidence. We almost pulled out the comeback. So, man, he he gave us good QB play. So if Lamar goes down, I think we are in good hands as well. Um, another bright spot on this on this offense, Mark Andrews. He he helps a lot. He helps Tyler Huntley a whole whole lot. Uh, he, he's a top three tight end. He's easily a top three tight end. Uh, he's he's amazing. He's he's better than Darren Waller. That is hundred percent for sure. And he's shown that. He's shown that. Rashad Bateman. Uh, his he, he had his best game. He had his best game, and again, he just shows how like why you just have to use players like him. Like Greg Roman, that's why you need to get fired. You're wasting every single wide receiver here. Like, bro, why does he not play? He has not played at all against the Steelers. He has. I mean, he's balled out against the Dolphins, and he hasn't played that much. Against the Browns, I have not seen him at all. He's not been there either. Uh, there's no reason not to give him playtime. There's absolutely no reason not to give him some quality playtime. He should be our wide receiver, too, at the moment. No debate about it. But, oh, man. But, yeah, man. Uh... Offensive line had a very rough game. As long as Alejandro Villanueva and Tyree Phillips are our starting offensive tackles, opposing edge rushers are going to have fun. They're going to have a blast. And it, it's no doubt about it. They're going to have a blast. So we better fix that. We better go get somebody, go get a tackle. Or just just pray for just pray for Juwan James to come back actually this year because it's it's not it, it's not pretty it's not it's not looking good. Tyree Phillips is not he's not a tackle he's not a tackle and he's playing tackle so it's it's a problem it's a big problem 
we need to sign somebody as soon as possible ASAP it, it cannot it cannot be like that you know so offensively Huntley good Bateman and, and Andrews bright spot uh, other bright spots uh, all line bad Roman play calling horrible uh, again, Roman, like, I don't know how you're not fired after this game. You just, like, you have said many, many times, you, you phrased things in such way many, many times. Oh, we're going to open the vault. Oh, we're going to open the vault. Where is the vault? When are you going to open it? When are you going to do it? First off, Lamar does not have audible rights at all. He has absolutely nothing you should give him audible rights because Lamar with uh, with him having full control into this uh, this offense you know what happened Colts game Chiefs game every comeback you name it was all hurry up Lamar having full control and it, it, it paid off with you it's a it's a total disaster and I don't know when is going to be the time where Harbaugh is extremely aggressive and then goes, yeah, okay, you're fired. Just like 2012. What what are you going to do? You need to send you need to send a message. It's not like what he's doing. Things are never going to change. Roman is still going to stay bad. The play calling is still going to it's just going to be bad. Like it, it, it can't be like that till the end of the season. We need to see our options for next season. Greg Roman should not be coming back next season at all either. He should not be coming back. And if he does, this is going to be... Nothing is going to change. We're not going to go further in the playoffs. We're not going to get ourselves a ring if Greg Roman is still our, our, our offensive coordinator. That play call on 4th and 6, a check down? No. It cannot be the case. It, you, you just cannot. You cannot make that up. You forgot what slant slant route were. You forgot what they were. Ever since you discovered what wide receiver screens were. You cannot make this shit up. Like. You know. I, I hope Roman makes his play call better. But then at the same time. You just can't hope anymore. You just can't hope anymore. It, it is just. It is. It is embarrassing. So that's it for the offense. Greg Roman, I don't know how you're not fired. The Ravens should have used your speed as an advantage. Get to the plane and leave you in Cleveland. And uh, leave you and Villanueva to Cleveland. And because Villanueva, he can't block, of course. You know, he, he let up like what? He, he let up the Lamar injury. Well, by the way, JOK. Uh, it's, it's your fault. You waited like 10 seconds before, you waited 10 seconds before, uh, uh, tackling Lamar. So, just screw you. You're a piece of shit. Uh, but yeah, man, you're a piece of shit for injuring Lamar. You, you this could have been avoided, like, it could have been avoided by Villanueva, but, uh, you waited 10 seconds before tackling him. So, uh, it's, it's, it's your fault. It's your fault. So defensively, defensively, good game, and you know it, it, it's a good game in the second half. I can say, second half had like a, you know, a few defensive breakdowns, shit like that. But you know, we let up zero points in the second half, so I think that's a good, very good second half from the defense. Uh, but yeah, uh, we just, like, pass interference, we got a, we lost a decent amount of yards because of that, uh, I don't know, man, I, I, I think some of them were not, but some of them were, but yeah, it, it, it just, the Browns gained a lot of yards because of that, Anthony Averett, good game. He got a pick. I mean, man, he's he's not. 
uh, he, he's inconsistent. He's inconsistent, but he's had a good game. Another one who's had a good game is Justin Matibuke. Uh, second year guy. Uh, but, but yeah, man, good game from Justin Matibuke. Nothing else to say about him. He's I honestly think he's gonna be good, but yeah. Uh. You know, that, that's pretty much for the analysis. I'm going to go with the last message here. Uh, Browns fans, you shouldn't be happy about this game. Y your team almost lost to a practice squad, Ravens. Uh, with Lamar, would have killed you. Uh, Browns fans would still own you, for sure. Don't, I mean, you know. Honestly, I think this is the win where you guys get a little bit of hope. And then, and then after a while, the hope just oh, crushes. Because it's the Browns. Uh, but nah, uh, you know, we're now 30, 34 and 12 all time against you. So, uh, you know, just don't, don't get too worked up. You should have lost this game for sure. But yeah, uh, you know, next week we're playing the Packers. Uh, I expect us to get curb, curb stomped, especially if Lamar does not play. Uh, hopefully... I mean, you know, I want us to win for sure. I want us to win. But uh, what is there to hope? We have too many injuries. It's, a, it's, an, it's, it's another season f just thrown thrown away. I think we make the playoffs. I think we win the division. And if we do, Harbaugh should probably get a coach of the year consideration because we have been very, very injured, extremely injured. Uh, but yeah, you know, I think we should have beat the Steelers for sure, but I guess, man. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new, click the like button, comment down below your thoughts, uh, down below. I'm going to record the preview as soon as possible, uh, and hopefully, hopefully we get, uh, hopefully we get good news with Lamar, uh, he's, uh, uh, there's a plan that he starts on Monday, on uh, on on Sunday. There, there's a plan that he starts on 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 Sunday. So hopefully, he actually does. He, he's listed as questionable. He's just a questionable. He's not ruled out. So yeah, man. Hopefully, hopefully we get him. If he's good to play, he's gonna play. Uh, I, I don't want to hear anybody be like, oh yeah, if oh, season's done, might as well not play him. Oh, just to keep him safe. No, 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 no. It, it makes no sense. Just, uh, just call it benching at this point. Like, come on. So, yeah, man. That's it. See you guys in the next one.